All right. Okay, welcome everybody. Uh, my name is Peter. I'm part of Sigma here. We make some of the best motion systems in the world, in my opinion. Uh, basically focusing on three things. The algorithms, or the software, the electrical, having the best motor, power unit, controller, embedded system combination, and obviously the mechanical. So having a, a very solid, robust uh, mechanical system. Um, and many of these features are kind of outlined on our website, so we'll kind of leave it at that. But why we're here is I wanted to just kind of demonstrate the effectiveness of our dynamic scaling algorithm. So we have two algorithms that are kind of unique to Sigma. The velocity trap, which makes the movement a lot more smoother, less robotic-like, um, as well as a dynamic scaling algorithm, which takes advantage of the two inches of travel fully that, that we have in the, in the actuator. Um, other systems claim four inches, six inches of travel, which they do have, um, but it's really kind of how you use it as well. It's not just about um, having more travel is necessarily better. It's how you utilize it. And that means having control of the software, having control of the algorithm, the embedded system or the controller that's running everything. Everything is important as a whole. It's all integrated. It all has to be integrated properly. So we're going to start here. Um, I already went through these stages. There are tons of fun here in Dirt Rally 2.0. But really what I want to do, I was going through these stages and I really like the uh, Scandinavian people, um, the Swedes, the Finns, um, and this stage right here in Finland. Um, it's quite good. So there's three stages here. We're just going to go through it. Um, our settings are post up on the screen right now, just so you know where we are in the settings. We're definitely n nowhere near max. Um, but going through the stage, just want you to look to this camera at least or through this shot. I'm just going to see how much travel we're actually getting. And uh, believe me and you that this is kind of all you really need in terms of getting accurate information about what's actually happening in the simulator with this particular car. Um, and, and any more travel, there's other considerations you have to take into effect. Uh, larger regenerative resistors, which are kind of like capacitors, if you were ultra capacitors that would absorb all the energy as you dissipate. If, especially somebody like myself who's quite heavy going down. Um, other mechanical safety, health and safety considerations as well. So in this case, um, again, we're in this uh, six-speed manual Subaru Legacy RS. Great car, very light, very powerful. Not much aero, so I don't accept it, expect it to. Uh, stay on the road very well and I did drive it before and it is kind of finicky and in our case here it's damaged so Amsa, Yamsa, Finland, I'm not sure you guys pronounce that but Finland, Sweden, Norway, all great countries um, and the drivers there are just excellent as we're going to find out right so I'm just lower the volume here just so I can hear myself talk otherwise it's kind of weird so the first thing you'll notice is as soon as I hit the handbrake, um, our environment la environmental layer kicks in because the telemetry starts being um, outputted into the motion system. So, Five, oh, four, in this case we're on three, flat level ground, so two, there's not much one, here. There's our broken one, engine, crest, feeling tons of, four, left of now having tons of engine vibration. Two, Every time I skid the tires, the engine vibration stops as I'm locking up all the wheels in drive train. Nice jump there. And I definitely have not driven the stage more than a few times, so total new. But amazing. It really does feel like you actually jump in the air. If you go sideways, the engine definitely is not right. Just feels amazing. So, oh boy. Gotta listen to the instructions here. Square right. There's the square right. Scandinavian flick there. 
Thank you to Scandinavians for that. We fly to Brady. All these changes definitely coming through. Middle over jump. And you almost pucker up with each jump too. Because you know what's coming. It doesn't necessarily hurt, but it does jostle you. Oh, like that. <laughs> Alright. Let's try this one here. Same thing that you can feel their right rear tire come down first. And I'm being very, very careful here. With three stages to go. And I want to keep this car together. I'm not even a second ahead, so that's too conservative. That felt amazing. Six right Titans to three. That's the three. Great granularity, if you will, on the surface. Oh, that's not a shortcut, but we took it. Again, that little jump felt great. So anybody who's got a DK system, DK2, DK2+, plus, highly recommend driving this stage. It really gives you the idea of why heave layer is so important in selling. I'm just trying to convince you with effects, but actually selling you on the position of the car and what it's doing. Okay, I'm going to focus in a bit here. Do less talking. I'm pretty sure nobody wants to hear me talk. Oi. Make some silly faces from the camera, which I'm not comfortable with. Oh. That felt amazing, too. And let's see if we can get a good lead here. Flat right over crest. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> It's not painful, but it is jarring. Um, there too, it's just a quick changes in motion. Or, oh, that one was even more giant for some reason. And I'm maxing out the system right now. I am 268 pounds. This chassis is about 210, 215, depending what's on it. So I'm very much at the limit our functional limit of, of these actuators. We have loaded them up with more weight and they can go, but at the limits that we define, they're basically uh, optimal. They're an optimal operating temperature. They don't get too hot. Um, they are perfect for all types of games and scenarios and settings. So, uh, but having a balanced chassis is kind of the most important part, really. So let's continue on. I didn't even take a look at the results, to be honest. Okay. Four and a half miles. 65 feet. So it's relatively flat throughout. But we know um, <laughs> there's a lot of jumps in this stage. And that Subi looks middle of a jump. pretty tired. Surprised the glass is still intact. Okay, let's see if this environmental layer will show itself once again. So we hit the handbrake. And if we're on any kind of elevation change in the environment, it should adjust. So... There you go. So we're back into the right. Full throttle. Got the EV. Don't want to jump the start because it's a 10 second penalty. I can feel going through this. Make sure I shift so it is a broken engine. Flat right. I wish I had the courage to just flat right. Flat left. Oh. That was nice and soft, actually. Oh, that was... <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Big jump. Oh, I know this one. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh. Not sure if you guys can see this, but it's definitely jarring. You don't need a lot of motion. You just need that initial jerk to let you know what is happening. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Watch those rocks. Yep, I hit those rocks. Felt in the back, right? Extra 
Extra long narrow. I've hit that before, so just gotta be careful. The bridge, guardrail. That little undulation is very interesting. So that's not where the jump was, but I've overshot this before. Here's the initial D gutter technique. Right here. Nope. Keep right of a jump, maybe. Keep right over jump. That was a three, that was actually pretty nice. But we are not ahead of the leader. I'm guessing we're probably behind. It's over crest. Yeah. Oh, we are. Okay. Keep middle of a jump. Keep middle over jump. Oh. Keep right over crest. Left. Sub three left. Six. Extra. Extra long. Over crest. Okay. Fifty. Five right long. Five right it long. Six left over crest. Fifty. And it is six a workout. Right I'm already heating up. Keep right over sixty. Over crest and six oh, yeah, left. Yeah, 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 yeah. Six okay. Right. Middle of a jump. Extra long of a bump, Titans three. Yep, that was two seconds ahead. Extra, extra long. Fifty. Fifty. Oh boy. Sixty. Six left of a crest. Jump. Fifty. Three left of a crest. Oh, like there too. The car was definitely sideways. Four left of a crest long. The tires fell or contacted at different times. Flat right. Oh. Sudden four right. Opens forty. Four right. There's the three. I'll ride the curb a little bit. Flat left. Comes the finish line. Let's just be at least a couple seconds ahead, and it'll be good. Titans over dip. Beautiful stage. Great flow. 3.42 seconds ahead. Let's go see our buddy Marshall. Let's see where we are placed. We should be... I think top 10 is the goal here. And this is all we're going to do. Just this one stage. Car still looks as bashed up as it did before. So second place here. And 17th. So I think we're going to have to pick it up a bit, a lot. <laughs> so let's see. If not, we'll have to redo it like for the next video. If you guys know how to pronounce that, let me know. It sounds like Yamza. Hamza. Yamza. I apologize for messing that up. Okay. Starts flat left, 80. Black crest into six right long, Titans five over crest. Okay. Good luck. I think I got that. Good luck indeed. Five. And break four, right away, get a sudden three, adjustment. Two, environmental layer. EV is just great. I can feel the roughness of the road. Into four, six right. Long, Titans, six five right. Over crest. Sixty. Caution. Six left. Extra, extra long. Titans three over crest. Black crest, jump, into four, right of a crest, open six, very long of a crest, black jump, 50, black okay. left of a jump, 30, five left of a jump, 150, five right long of a crest, 100, of a oops, crest, and six left long of a crest. Be careful these crest jumps because... You do feel the wheels loosen up, and it's hard to gain that traction with this car. Oh, yes. Okay, a minute ahead already. I don't know if we're going to be able to make up the time that we need here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me make mistakes like that. Okay. 
and everything feels different with motion. You become more careful, I think, because you actually are. You can actually feel the gutters, the impact, so you do pucker up a bit more. Keep right over jump. To keep middle of a crest into five right tighters, three past junction opens of a crest. Where's that three? Here's the three. Six left tighters, three of a crest. crest opens fifty. Five right tighters, four of a crest. Okay, opens. my radiator is definitely six right long of a crest. Hot. Six left long past junction opens fifty. Middle of a big jump. Middle of a big jump. Six left long. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> Sixty. Big jump. Two hundred. Six right. Titans four. Give in. Open thirty. That right of a jump. Eighty. By right of a jump. Fifty. Five left. Open six of a crest. Right of a crest, 50. Black jump to jump, 50. Oh boy. Oi. Left of a jump, upwards long of a crest. Never had so many jumps in one. A caution crest, four left of a dip, 70. Oh. Six right of a crest, 100. Five right of a crest, jump, and flat left. That's what I mean, if I was going any faster. Over that crest, you just don't have the traction. Oof. That's pretty harsh. Titans. Thought the right rear wheel get in the ditch there. Or the gutter. Right. Forty. Six left of a jump. <coughs> Fifty of a finish to stop. Oh, and hit that as well. All right, we got you. Oof. So I don't think we did enough here to win, but hopefully it demonstrated. There's some radiator smoke coming out. What we wanted to demonstrate, which is again the dynamic scaling our algorithm that we have where it our motion system would adjust dynamically for the amount of um, to, to represent as much of a particular layer as possible in uh, in real time which is quite unique ah just two places short so finish in the top 10 yeah we finished in 12 so tough luck let's continue and we'll get to do that stage once more but we'll probably go through all of these um, in good time that one probably was the one with the most amount of jumps and changes but things like Monte Carlo is completely different probably from Monte Carlo I'll um, increase the uh, the pitch layer just to get a bit more of that bite know exactly where that breaking point is especially going downhill on slippery slippery surfaces is a little nuts Grease, tons of textures, a little bit more slower, but lots of hairpins and tight churns. Argentina's just crazy, and New Zealand's just got an amazing flow. So, anyways, for now, we'll keep it at this. And thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, this was quick and easy. Take care.